algae market potentially worth $320 billion, draws Honda and Enios. From a January 23, 2022 article in Bloomberg Green, by Erika Yokoyama. Oil refiner Enios Holdings Inc. and Honda Motor Co. are among a group of more than 35 Japanese companies and institutions that have banded together to try to tap the potential of microalgae to help replace fossil fuels and to provide an array of food and consumer goods products. By banding together under an initiative called Matsuri, Microalgae Towards Sustainable and Resilient Industry, the group is hoping to create enough demand for the phytoplankton to make a large-scale algae farm viable in Malaysia. Startups and companies around the world have been investing in microalgae because of its potential to replace biomass fuels such as corn and soybeans, which are part of the global food supply. One commonly used algae genus, Chlamydomonas, can absorb about 8.7 times more carbon dioxide than soybeans, according to Takanori Hoshino, an executive officer at Chitose Laboratory Corp. The problem has been to grow and process algae at a scale that would be commercially competitive. Dozens of algae fuel startups around the world have gone bust, or retreated from trying to make biofuel over the past decades. By banding together, the Japanese group hopes to use their combined demand to make a large-scale farm viable. Chitose is negotiating with the local Sarawak state government to secure land to expand its facility to 2,000 hectares by around 2027 and is looking to raise 200 billion yen, or $1.8 billion for the project. Chitose said it is also considering other locations in Southeast Asia and the Middle East to build the facility. The farm initially would use carbon dioxide from a local thermal power plant to feed the algae and produce 140,000 tons of microalgae a year. After the planned expansion, it would be one of the world's largest purpose-built algae farms, according to Rebecca White, executive director of the United States-based Algae Biomass Organization. At full capacity, the company expects 100 billion yen in annual sales from algae. The site in the Malaysian state of Sarawak was chosen because of its more intense tropical sunshine, low risk of natural disasters, and easy access to markets in Asia, said Tomohiro Fujita, chief executive officer of Chitos. Natural algae have been harvested for centuries in Asia as a food source and began to gain popularity in the West in the 1970s with the development of a market for the cyanobacteria, spirulina, as a so-called superfood. To date, most production has come from harvesting natural sources in lakes and oceans for use as food additives, for humans, fish, and livestock, or as fertilizer. Algae products in the food, feed, fuel and chemical sectors could have a combined annual market of $320 billion in 2030, according to the Center for Climate and Energy Solutions, and the past decade has seen a boom in cultivated products, typically by adding sugar to tanks of water to feed the algae. While most projects are focused on food and cosmetic ingredients, the big prize is to find a cost-effective way to make auto and jet fuel. Enios, which has been working on biojet fuel for more than 15 years, aims to begin commercial production of algae-based biofuel, once Chito starts operation in 2025. Honda said, it is still at the research stage for possible uses for algae and is also conducting its own investigation into cultivation. The Matsuri Consortium also includes half a dozen chemical companies, including Mitsui Chemicals Inc., which is considering using algae as an alternative to naphtha, a feedstock used to make fuels, solvents and plastics. Said Vice President Hideki Matsuo, quote, by replacing chemical-based naphtha with a bio-based one, we can reduce carbon dioxide emissions and also convert many household products to biomass-derived products, unquote. A key market needed to produce enough scale to drive down the price of algae cultivation is the food market. Microalgae offer an alternative protein source to crops such as soybeans. Spirulina, for example, is about 70% protein and can produce as much as 14 times the output per unit area than soybeans and by using less water, according to Toshia Sasaki, chief operating officer of Chitosa's food startup Taborimo. The market for algae will increase in size as companies like Honda see the potential profits in creating sustainable algal biomass, which can have multiple applications in our daily use products. This allows for more expansion into areas phycologists have not yet even imagined. With this increase in the algae market potential, the only question left is, 
How far will algae change our daily lives?